NBC Sports presents the 1973 Orange Bowl game. The Fighting Irish of Notre Dame meeting the Cornhuskers of Nebraska. I'm Jim Simpson along with Kyle Rowe. Well, for the third consecutive year, Nebraska is here. This year, however, no chance to win the national title. Southern California has just done that in most convincing fashion. But for Bob Devaney, this is his final game as a coach in the collegiate ranks. And uh, it'll be Eric Persegan of Notre Dame. He is 8-2-0. And now, the 1973 Iron Bowl Classic is underway as Thomas of Notre Dame kicks off to Rogers and Baugh of Nebraska. Short kick off the hand, picked up by Rogers. Across the 20, trying to get outside. That's Rudnick trying to haul him down and does as he gets near the 25 yard line. Tim Rudnick of Notre Dame hauls down the Heisman Trophy winner, Johnny Rogers. This is Johnny Rogers. Rogers inside the five. Rogers down. Score! Eight yard touchdown run. Johnny Rogers, the Heisman Trophy winner. Dimonick tonight is starting over Eric Pennick, number 44, who is their leading ground gainer, a sophomore from Cleveland, Ohio. The word we get is that Pennick participated in the Iron Bowl parade on Saturday night, much to the chagrin and surprise and disappointment of his coach, Eric Parsegan, and did not run at first string in yesterday's practice and is not running or starting tonight's game. Go on in motion. Third down, long yardage. Clements back, looking to throw, has the one by himself. He slips and falls down. But it's a first down at the 43-yard line. The one in motion again. Clements going for him by himself again. To the 40. 30 and knocked out of bounds by number 19, Randy Board. First down. That's twice he's come out of the backfield, and nobody has been with him. Motion. Bob Thomas is coming in. He is the field goal kicker. And this will be held by Clements at the 42, meaning it is a 52-yard cross. He's got some foot to it, but not enough. It bounds short, and Nebraska will take over on their own 20-yard line. 7.53 to go in the 1973 Orange Bowl game in Miami, Florida. Nebraska's fighting up to nothing. Jim Simpson with Kyle Road, and that's the Nebraska bench across the way. This is Bob Devaney's last night as a college coach. And this youngster in his mid-30s, Tom Osborne, an assistant now, will be the head coach once this ball game is over. Devaney will become the athletic director. From the 32-yard line, first and 10, Dewan comes in motion again. Clements looking long on the pattern to Townsend. Back there, and it is intercepted, I believe, by Joe Blaha. 27. Second down and eight. This is Gaylor, and there goes the football. Notre Dame has the football inside the 25. Picked up by Tim Sullivan. Another look at O'Malley, the middle linebacker. He's the one that forced the fumble. Sullivan, 42, the defensive left end, in on the recovery. A turnover apiece now. One in motion. Clements again. Oh, he is thrown way back by the monster man who was blitzing on the play, Dave Mason. Takes him out of field goal range. This is Dixon. Dixon cuts the first down and may have a lot more than that. Chased down and caught by Townsend and Barnett. But not until he gets inside the 30-yard line down to the 27. And the Cornhuskers keep roaring down the field. Hum. Has time. Throws for Ravel. Ravel is inside the five. Down to the one. It's first and goal to go. Townsend makes the stop. This is the second man. Dixon. Gary Dixon. Has his ninth touchdown of the season football game. Sanger's kick is perfect. 14-29 to go in the half, and Nebraska leads by the score of 14 to nothing. Here's Johnny Rogers. He is going to throw down to the Frosty Anderson. He's there. Touchdown! 
52 yards. Safety. Well, they've added another defensive lineman on a third and short yardage situation. Andy Huff normally gets the ball in this situation, but see if he does again. They fake to him on third and short. Has to put it up for Dewan, and it is intercepted by number 56, John Pitts. Instead of going for the half yard, they put it in the air, hung it up, and Pitts intercepts at the 41. Well, we got some sad news as we started the day. Wherever you are, perhaps you haven't heard. Roberto Clemente, one of the great stars of all time in baseball, heading up the committee to provide facilities, foodstuffs, money, care for those in the Nicaraguan earthquake was killed in an airplane crash last night as he tried, along with the rest of the plane, to take food stuff to Nicaragua. A great loss in the sports world. Hum is back. Hum throws out of the backfield across the way to Dave Gaylor, and Gaylor is really lowered there by Mazurka and Sleezus. For the moment, we'll say the first half is over. Nebraska's Cornhuskers have been convinced by the score of 20 to nothing, and we'll return to the Bomb Yarns Bowl in a moment. 